Five things you can do without during a pandemic. Number one, smelling fresh. With today's strict social distancing guidelines, we are now relieved from our annoying and oppressive grooming responsibilities. Quite frankly, it takes quite a few days to build up the kind of body funk that you can smell from six feet away. The upside? Think of all the money you'll save on deodorant, toothpaste, showering, and spousal support. Number two, smarts for the youngins. The second thing you can do without in a pandemic is, of course, books and school and, well, knowledge in general. Let's face it, Meatloaf was right. School is out for the summer, and it's time to cash in on the kids. Yes, the schools have rolled out sophisticated online learning systems, but while my son is logged into school and learning, he's also making some serious bread as a full-time Uber Eats driver. Don't worry, I'm making sure he is fully protected on the job. I invested his entire stimulus check in Ticketmaster stock. He'll be just fine. Number three, unpredictable live sports. I think we can all agree we no longer need unpredictable live sports in our lives anymore. Old baseball reruns on ESPN 10 are just fine for me. Knowing who won the pennant takes the uncomfortable not knowing out of the games. And, except in cases of Florida and Mississippi, it's been shown that rebroadcasting old games significantly reduces sports gambling. Number four, live music, especially Coldplay. It's clear by now that the pandemic has leveled the live music playing field. Without their fancy backing tracks, your favorite band's live stream quarantine concert sounds like a grade school Frank Zappa cover band. It makes me appreciate classic bands like Millie Vanilli, who sounded consistent night after night. Number five, other people. And finally, I think by now we can all agree we can do without other people. I mean, who needs them? Video conferencing systems like Zoom and GoToMeeting have opened up new doors that I can't wait to close and seal forever. Listen, Susan, I didn't want to watch you get drunk and bitch about your ex at the bar, so why would I want a happy hour with you on my couch at home? That's my Rick and Morty time! Hi, everyone. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Research shows it'll boost your immune system. Or maybe just my ego. Thanks a lot.